All right, guys. So let's jump into a let's mod today. I'm going to let you guys know this is this will be like an intermediate type of tutorial. You can hear my son in the background here. Um, yeah, so you guys might hear kids in the background or whatever. But that's just how it goes. Um, okay, so in this video, I am making this video to show you guys how to kind of manipulate the positioning, width, um, rotation, stuff like that of the headband of a player. You can't do any manipulation of the headband in the game. The game does not allow you to do that. So if you're on console, you will not be able to do this. Now for you guys on PC, you will be able to do this. You can add headbands using Cheat Engine. Uh, I think you might be able to do it with No No Trainer, I'm not sure. But this one is just showing you how to do it in Blender, like move it around. You can't move it around with Cheat Engine or anything, but you can assign it with Cheat Engine. All right. Uh, uh, and forgive me if that's not clear what I was saying, but I'm going to continue this video. Okay, so who is this? Go Cats 23 He basically wants... He was asking me a question. Now, he didn't request a video or anything, but the easiest way for me to answer his question was with the video. He wanted me to show him how to make a headband thinner he wants a thinner headband from lebron james not so wide so i'm gonna jump into it now all right so i have blender up i'm gonna press a twice press delete and then this option comes up here so i'm gonna delete that all right so now i'm gonna go over to the scene the little scene button all right let's see what we got then i am going to import the high head dot scene file for a player now again this is an intermediate um an intermediate tutorial so you'll have to know how to use blender a little bit already and you'll have to already have have everything set up to import 3d files from the game okay and and so the, I'm rotating here. I'm going to press 5 on my numpad. Then I'm going to press Control 1 on my numpad. All right. Um, and so the reason why I'm not going to make this a fully fledged tutorial is because on these Let's Mod videos, I, I want these to be shorter videos that I can just jump into for people who kind of have an understanding of modding or people who just want to you know watch me do a quick mod all right so for this one all right we need to zoom out so hold on a second i'm gonna press control middle mouse mouse click hold the middle mouse click and control and i'm gonna drag it away from the screen All right, and so now I'm going to press control, middle mouse click. Um, I'm sorry, maybe, maybe, hold on, let me see what I'm going to push. Okay, right there, I just press shift, I held down shift, held down the middle mouse click, and I dragged the, uh, the model to the part of the screen where I want it. And now I'm going to press control, middle mouse click, and zoom back in. By holding control, middle mouse click, and scrolling forward. All right. Now I'm going to press shift. I'm going to hold down. I'm sorry. I'm going to hold down shift, hold down middle mouse click, all while dragging the model to the middle of the screen again. And then I'll have everything where I want it. All right, I've got everything where I want it. All right, so the next thing I need to do is I need to go over here to the little data tab where it's, you can see that information coming up on my screen. I click data and then it shows me the vertex groups here. Those are the vertex groups, all right? So I wanna go into edit mode. 
And as you can see, everything is selected. All the word textures, everything is selected. I'm going to press A, which D selects everything. And now I'm going to go back over here to the right side of the screen to my vertex groups. I'm going to scroll up, find that headband. There it is, headband shape. I click on that, come down and click select. Forgive me if I'm going a little fast. You guys can either increase the speed of the video or decrease the speed of the video. There should be uh, some setting options on YouTube in the right corner if I'm going too fast or if I'm going too slow for you. All right, so now we have the headband selected. Again, I, uh, I clicked headband, then I click select here, and you can click deselect if you want. All right, so click select. All right, so if the headband is too wide, then you'll need to scale it down on the Z axis. But the thing about that is it might cause clipping if you scale it down on the Z axis as it is. So let's see if I press my middle mouse click button and kind of scroll around or if I hold my middle mouse click button and scroll around the 3D model will rotate. So that's what I'm going to do now. All right, so let's try, let's try. I'm gonna press S on my keyboard for scale. I'm gonna press Z so that it only scales on the Z axis. Now I'm gonna get my mouse and I'm gonna move it, I'm gonna move it up. And as you can see, it's making the headband thinner on the Z axis, but also, um, let's see, let me keep going. All right, it made the headband thinner, but then in the front of the head, like it kind of shrunk, kind of shrunk the headband back, which is what we don't want. We don't want that because when you get in the game, then it's like his head will be clipping through the headband. So I'm going to press control Z to undo that. All right, so what I like to do is I like to, like, I'm going to click on this red arrow and drag the headband away from the head. Okay. Now I'm going to hold down my middle mouse click button, scroll around. Okay. So now I'm going to press R to rotate and X to rotate along the X axis. Let's see. Yeah, that's what I want. And so I'm going to try to make the headband sit straight. There we go. Now the headband is straight. It's just horizontal. Okay. So now I'm going to scale it down along the Z axis. So press S to scale. Uh, hold on. Let me. I'm going to right click out of this. Let me move my mouse away from the headband for a second. Okay. Now I'm going to press S to scale. Z to go along the X axis. Because I just want to scale along the X axis. And now I'm going to scale it down. As you can see, it gets skinnier and skinnier. You can have a really thin headband if you want. Or you can have a really thick headband if you want. All right, there you go. Looks like a cake. Anyway, all right, so I'm just gonna make it thinner. There it is, all right. And so now I'm going to use that red arrow. Um, I left clicked to get out of the scaling. And I'm gonna use I'm gonna click on that red arrow, drag it back over to the head, and then just make sure it's sitting in the right places on the left and right side. And as you can see, that forehead is still is somehow still clipping through the headband. That's because we need to rotate it back to its original position. So we're going to press R and we're going to press X to rotate along the X axis. 
and then let's see so now we're look at that all right now the headband looks like it should be like this is how people actually wear their headbands okay so there we have it and it's a thinner headband and everything looks good let me look at this in object mode everything looks good it doesn't appear that it will be any clipping the headband is thinner all right and from there let's just say this is how I wanted to keep everything if I want to save this model now most of you who are who have done you know the 3d edits before will know how to save this but I'll just go over it real quick um, go to exporter and then find like find a different folder to put this in don't put it in the same one as the original at least I don't um, like, uh, it doesn't really matter where I put it I, I just pick a random folder and then I'm gonna click export And as you can see the export is orange because it's being exported right now all right and we're done and so what I would do is I would go grab that file from the folder I'll, I guess I'll show you real quick um, I'll grab that file I put it in here with some videos here it is so I grab I grab that file and I will open up 7-zip and um, shoot I would find the face you know wherever I, I, I don't have a face to insert it into but let me find one so let's say I wanted that file to be my PNG 1852 because the PNG holds the 3d models so I'll click on that and I'm sorry if I'm losing some of you but uh, those of you who mess around with 3D files will know exactly what I'm talking about. Again, this is for the intermediate users. Uh, I'll do, I'll try to do more Let's Mods for beginners, which I'm, I think I'm going to have another one today. Okay. And then I'm going to drag that model file over inside of 7-Zip into this folder. And then it'll ask me, like, do I want to copy it over? Of course, I would press yes if I want to do that. If I want to have the model with the skinny headband, but I'm going to cancel it for now because I don't really want to do that. All right, cancel. And that's it, guys. That's it. That, I'm not going to show you it in game because you can test it out yourself. But Well, that's not the reason. Uh, I'm not going to show you it in game because I don't want to um, have to pause the recording and pull up NBA 2K18, wait for that, wait to load up everything, then assign the face and all of that. I just wanted to show you guys how to do this in Blender and save it. All right. Test that out. Let me know how it goes, guys. This has been a Let's Mod. All right. Catch you on the next one.